friends, Denti Cuckoo. Just wanted to bring you guys a few last minute gift ideas for your teachers and neighbors. So I'm feeling really caught up. Um, we got a lot done this weekend. Uh, I had to stay home from church today. I had one with a not great stomach and one child with a little bit of a cough. So that enabled me to catch up a little bit more. And then I have a wonderful husband who dealt with all the kids activities Saturday. So I was able to get a little crafting done. So that was great. I am done shopping and I'm starting to feel good about everything and feeling caught up. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, so I always try and do something for our teachers. I really appreciate them. And um, I do have um, a sample of what I did for some of our teachers. We didn't do the same thing for all of them. So let me just cover up the name because this is going out tomorrow. So if you can see, that's just one of the cups from the Dollar Tree, the little snowman there. And what I put inside, there's a full pack of M&Ms in the very back and then a Starbucks gift card, um, one pack of Trident gum in peppermint, and then it's full of Hershey's Kisses. And so these bags are actually also from the Dollar Tree. They're in the birthday section and I always get them because they are clear. So you can use those on multiple things. So this was just a um, small teacher's gift. Um, our middle school, you have seven teachers and I happened to pick up four of those snowman cups and I asked my daughter who she wanted to give presents to and she said four different teachers. So that worked out well. Um, so it just has a $5 gift card. It's nothing big, but all of those teachers do drink coffee. So that should work out fine. Um, for one of our elementary teacher, our elementary teacher this year, um, I just picked up a really nice big tin from Michael's and he is kind of a health um, fanatic health nut. Um, we love him. He sat all of our children. And so um, I just picked up prepackaged um, almonds that are like little travel size and um, from Trader Joe's. And then I'm just going to put all of them in the tin. And then I got him a nice, um, a nice big gift card to Trader Joe's because he, he does love coffee. He drinks it black, but he does love coffee. So we did that for our teachers this year. Um, different things that I've done in the past. Um, one year, I we had two female teachers and they're both elementary. And what I did is I had picked up at Stein Mart, um, really pretty, really nice, high quality lunch bags. They were definitely feminine. They had like a floral, pattern to them, but they were very, very nice. I felt like anyone um, would really like it. It was a very nice bag. And um, we do have a Trader Joe's. We're very lucky to have that. And so I just went to Trader Joe's and picked up things that I thought would be nice for them to have if they had forgotten their lunch or if they were busy and had a meeting and just needed a snack before their meeting. So I put in like dried fruit snacks, um, like, you know, sliced strawberries that are, um, what is the word, um, freeze dried? And they come in little pouches. Um, and I did that and I did like a nice can of um, minestrone soup from Trader Joe's that they could easily have for lunch at school. I had the pop top so they wouldn't need a can opener, um, nuts granola bars, lots of healthy things like that. And I really filled it to the brim. And both teachers that year raved about it, how much they appreciated it, that it was um, something that they would use and appreciate and would not necessarily get from every child. I know a lot of kids get mugs um, for their teachers. So that was one year that seemed to be like a really good hit with our teachers. Um, another year we have big whiteboards in our classrooms and they're magnetic and often the teachers start out the year with lots of magnets to keep up different um, 
papers or just different notes um, for the kids. And then by this time in the year, they've lost like half of them. So I was able to find them at the Dollar Tree and then they're just plain button style. Um, they came in like blue, pink, or white, I think, at the Dollar Tree. I've seen them in a multicolor pack at the 99 cent store. And you can get something similar for a little bit more at an office supply store. But I just gave them all a ton of magnets and um, they really appreciated that. That was something that they really liked. Um, there's of course the obvious things, a gift card for some place nearby that they could grab lunch. Um, we have a Togo's, which is like a sandwich place. We have a In-N-Out, and so those are very popular gift cards for our teachers. Um, on days that they're able to get out and get lunch, they appreciate that. Also, um, their favorite coffee place. I know a lot of you have a Dunkin' Donuts. We do not. We do, but it's on the other side of town. It's brand new. So, but we have many Starbucks, and so you could do a coffee gift card. Um, you could do a lunch gift card and a coffee gift card. Um, movie tickets. Um, we do belong to a Costco, and you can get two tickets. They just upped the price. I think it's $18 now for two, if I am correct. And so movie tickets are always appreciated. I have on occasion bought a bottle of wine or a six pack of beer for a teacher. And let me tell you, they appreciate that. And the way I actually don't drink, we have no alcohol in this house and we're not drinkers. We're not opposed to it, but we just don't. So um, the way I knew that is there's a um, teacher questionnaire that goes out at the beginning of the year and it asks all the teachers, what's your favorite drink? What's your favorite restaurant? That sort of thing, your favorite color. And the teachers are honest and will say, I love Chardonnay or I drink um, IPA beer. And so I have done that on occasion if I know the teacher extremely, extremely well. And um, even then you could get them a gift card to a place like BevMo if you know they're a real wine connoisseur or something like that, and they'll remember you. <laughs> I always bring it in like a paper bag, <laughs> but it's like a Trader Joe's paper bag. It's not like a liquor store paper bag. And I bring it after school and, you know, very discreetly. Um, something else I've done drink-wise is we have a teacher who loves Diet Coke. And so we actually, a few of us room moms, we got her a nice gift card. It was from the whole class, but we wanted to give her something physical. And so we took um, two 12 packs of Diet Coke and we made like a cake out of it, like you would with a diaper um, cake for like a birth, for a baby shower. We made her a Diet, cake, Diet Coke cake out of the cans and then we stuck the gift card on top and she really loved that. So those are just a few ideas. Also, I know a really nice pair of scissors are always appreciated. Um, a nice new tape dispenser or stapler. Um, there was one year we had teachers requesting hole punches, the three ring hole punch, which is very easy. You just go down the office supply and um, you know, or it could be a, a gift to the class. You could get a brand new pencil sharpener or something like that. Also, I feel like a label maker makes a very nice gift for a teacher, um, especially if you know they don't have one and would appreciate one. One year, um, I was room mom in a first grade classroom and it felt like every child was becoming sick and wanting to go home. Now, some of them were truly ill, but you know, if you send them to the nurse's office, they're gonna have to wait in line and then come back and it's a big waste of time. And really all of our, she's not a nurse, she's a health aide. All she does is take their temperature to evaluate whether or not they need to call home and say, your child's got a fever, you need to pick them up. 
and so I am a nurse and I had the idea of buying a forehead scanning thermometer for our first grade teacher and let me tell you she loved it she appreciated it I was in the classroom quite a bit and so what we would do is just send them back to my table and I would just take their temperature and say are you really feeling bad because your temperature's fine and nine times out of ten they were fine and probably just wanted to get out of class and go hang out in the nurse's office so um, I would say if you know your teacher really well you could do something like that also we had a cook a um, teacher one year who was not a big cook but had said she really wanted to tackle Christmas cookies with her children and so we bought a nice cookie jar. It was like a snowman. It was really big. And we filled it with spatulas, aprons, all the things, cookie cutters, instant mix, everything she would need, sprinkles, and, um, and a gift card. And she really appreciated that. We also had a music teacher who was always wearing bow ties. And so there's one year that... Um, we got the music teacher a really fun um, bow tie and so he really appreciated that so that's teacher wise now I'm just gonna go into neighbor gift ideas um, I've done lots of different things for our neighbors through the years I don't have the actual thing that I gave because I gave them all out I have an example so what I did is I took tins just like this and um, you can find these at the Dollar Tree and I baked this weekend so I let me just hold it up this one is going out tomorrow morning so this one has sugar cookies in it with sprinkles and then lots of just different little treats that I put on top and then I had some peppermint flavored chocolate truffles and that was in a red and white striped box and then I put sat that on top and then I wrapped it with yarn at the top and I'll insert a picture at the end of when I dropped one off on one of my neighbor's doors so you see what I'm talking about so that was really appreciated because a lot of people are busy this weekend and wrapping presents and I had multiple texts from all my friends and neighbors that said thank you so much I've already inhaled 10 cookies and I did a batch of chocolate chip first and then went on to the sugar so that's always a good idea edibles obviously you guys all know that chocolates cookies candles those are the standbys something I wanted to mention is if your neighbors have young children um, this is something I have done for a good friend who has three children and I'm doing it again and what I do is I buy three of these and these were gonna go on my kitchen window but I am out of steam so I picked up one extra the Santa one and I'm just gonna pass these on to her because she has three young children and they have a large sliding glass door by their kitchen that they use so um, the little kids love getting that it's only a dollar and um, I've given those out for Valentine's to kids and they just love them so if they have little kids that would be appreciated um, if they have a dog you could get a little um, just a box of dog treats um, if they have a cat you could get some little cat toys and cat treats um, something I did one year that was very popular and did not cost much is I went to the Dollar Tree and I got scissors roll a tape and at the Dollar Tree you get two for one dollar and I got gift tags a little you know they come in like a set of 50 or whatever and a roll of wrapping paper and then I put ribbon around the wrapping paper and tied on the scissors and the tags and the tape and I set it on everyone's door that was very very popular it only cost four dollars well three dollars and fifty cents um, per neighbor and it was very very popular a lot of neighbors thanked me and said I just ran out of tags and you saved me a trip to the store or I can't find my scissors or we just ran out of tape so that's always a good one 
Um, I feel like memos or stationery or any kind of um, thing like that for the refrigerator or note taking, I feel like that's always a very nice gift with a nice pen. Um, something I've done in the past too, I know Tracy B has up a video, she did um, hand soaps, um, I think from Walmart, the soft soap, the scented this year um, with a little something else with it. But I've done that before where I've given just a nice hand soap I don't know if Bath and Body still has their hand soap sale going on, but if they do, then you know these are only like two fifty, and you could put like a festive hand towel with it, or just give it as it is. But um, this is a treat in our house to have fancy soap, so I think that that's a very nice gift for your um, neighbors. Um, one year, I got the instant sugar cookie mix. Um, I think it was Pillsbury, Duncan Hines, I forget. Um, and I would show you guys what the package looks like, but I already made all my cookie dough and it's in the refrigerator, so I don't have the packaging. And what I did is I took that and then I got a bunch of cookie cutters and a bunch of different sprinkles and sprinkles, cookie dough, cookie cutter, in a uh, oven mitt and I put them all together packaged them nicely so I did like the cookie mix and then the pot holder in front and then some ribbon around it with the sprinkles and the cookie cutter and that was also very popular with the neighbors and the cookie cutters I got like a dozen for three dollars so if you go to the Dollar Tree, you can find those mixes every now and then. And, um, you know, that's just right around $3, $3.50 per neighbor. So um, if you know your neighbors well enough, you could get them maybe their, a bag of their favorite coffee and have it ground for them already at Starbucks or Costco, anything like that. Um, I have a neighbor who I have been friends with for over eight years. And... Um, we know each other very well, we're good friends, our children are friends, and she's always running out of taco mix and texting me and we'll send the kids back and forth across the street with taco mix. So I have found at our Costco a taco mix that is like this big and I am going to pick that up for her just because I know she will enjoy it, she will use it, and she will find it funny. So just depending on how well you know your neighbors. But those are just a few ideas I wanted to bring you guys. Um, I will try and insert the picture of what I did for my neighbors this year, um, just to give you the finished product, what it looked like. And I hope you guys don't um, stress out too much this coming week. Try and just uh, relax and enjoy it as it comes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.